Hey, how's it going? I just picked up the all new Ryobi 40 volt HP chainsaw and today I'll be unboxing it and giving you my full review. Welcome back, I'm Chris Kuzak and on this channel I cover DIY projects and homeowner solutions to everyday problems. So if you're new here, you might want to consider subscribing. Before I unbox this awesome chainsaw, I just want to say thank you to everybody that watched, liked, commented, and subscribed this past week. Your support is truly encouraging. So I've been in the market for a new chainsaw since the fall. Long story short, the city had to bring in some large machinery to fix some erosion caused by a broken drainage pipe. And in order for them to get the machines in, they needed to remove a bunch of trees. We have a wood burning fireplace that we use as a secondary source of heat. So I asked to keep the trees. Maybe now that I have all this wood, I'll use the fireplace more often. But now that I have all these trees, I need to cut them into firewood. I'm glad I waited to now to buy the chainsaw because Ryobi just launched their 40 volt HP or high performance line of outdoor power tools. So I was excited when I saw that they had amongst the assortment of tools, a chainsaw. As you saw in my last video linked up here, I have the Ryobi 40 volt HP lawnmower, which came with two six amp hour batteries. So because I already have the batteries, I just needed to buy the bear tool, which saved me a good chunk of change. This chainsaw is also available as a kit that comes with a five amp hour battery if you don't already have a 40 volt Ryobi battery. So just like the lawnmower, some people might say, Chris, you're crazy. Why wouldn't you just get a gas chainsaw? Here's what I have to say to those people. Number one, this is just one less reason for me to need to go to the gas station with my gas can, fill it up and stink up my car. Number two, once these trees are cut up, I'll probably not be using this chainsaw very often and gas goes bad if it sits too long. So this will not be a concern with this chainsaw. Number three, have you ever flooded the engine of a chainsaw and tried to get it to start again? Yeah, it's a pain. You can't flood this chainsaw motor Oh, and there's no pull string, so bonus. Last but not least, it's much better for the environment. Let me just say before I open this thing up, it is nice that it comes with this case, and it's a nice hard case too. The case simply unlatches to flip open the top and reveal the chainsaw inside. As I pull out the chainsaw, it is noticeably lighter than a gas one, but it still feels heavy enough that the internal components should be good quality. Now this is not the only cordless chainsaw on the market. In fact, this isn't even Ryobi's only chainsaw on the market. But this year's HP chainsaw has an improved brushless motor that delivers more power, more runtime, and a longer lifespan. In addition, last year's model had a maximum bar length of 16 inches. The new HP chainsaw comes with an 18 inch bar to utilize all of that extra power. Something I'm not a fan of, and I question why Ryobi did this, but the bumper spikes, the spikes at the base of the bar are plastic. I've never seen a chainsaw with plastic bumper spikes and I might play around with it and see if I can replace them with metal ones. It doesn't look like it would be an easy retrofit though. Anyway, I was a little disappointed to see that. Definitely the worst part of this chainsaw and it's really too bad. Now even though it isn't powered by a gas oil mixture, you still need to fill it with bar and chain oil. So you may want to pick some of this up while you're at Home Depot because it's not provided. The oil goes into the reservoir on the front of the chainsaw. You can control the amount of oil drip by using the provided tool that is neatly stored in the handle to turn the adjustment setting on the bottom of the tool. Oh, here's a little tip. Make sure you turn the drip off when you're done with it, or the next time you use it, you will find it sitting in a pool of oil. You can also use the provided tool to adjust the chain tension on the side of the tool. The chainsaw came with the chain already tensioned appropriately, but it may loosen up as you use it. Enough talking, time to get to work. The performance and strength of the motor is surprisingly good. It's cutting through these logs with ease. But this is obviously dependent on having a sharp blade. but with proper chain maintenance, you could theoretically maintain this performance.
Eventually I got to a hardwood log that was 14 inches in width and it didn't really seem to struggle at all. I do have a much larger log in the pile, but it's at the bottom and I probably won't get to it today. When I've used gas chainsaws in the past, I've either worn ear protection or just suffered the partial deafness after using it. With the Ryobi chainsaw, it's not silent, but it's not loud enough for me to feel like I need to wear hearing protection. I should, however, still be wearing eye protection, and gloves would probably protect against slivers, but you're just gonna have to slap me silly, okay? I know the question you're all asking by now is, how long does the battery last? I would say with this six amp hour battery, it lasts about 45 minutes of somewhat continuous use. Luckily I have two batteries and when one died, I plugged it in right away and it was ready by the time the second one died. These batteries charge extremely fast. I was shocked actually. Well, I don't want to tire you out watching me work. So I think that'll be it for this one. Please find the like button below and give her a click. If you find value in this video, chances are someone else will too. Liking and sharing this video is the best way for others to find it. Thanks for watching and again for your support. And remember, dream it, fix it, build it. Later.